Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Vanilla Classic and our Warrior Immersive Run. We are here in Goldshire today starting things off, and we're going to run south and we are going to do the farm quest. Hope you guys are doing well today, whether it is morning, afternoon, evening, or night where you're at. Thanks for being here. I am playing a little bit later in the evening than I normally do. I, I did want to make an effort with this character to be able to see different times of day in Azeroth and really take in the scenery with the different skybox and different lighting and stuff like that. I did work on fishing a little bit. So I got our fishing up to 55, right nearby Goldshire, where it was, you know, pretty safe. It's not a hardcore run anyway, so if I get killed while I'm out fishing off recording, it doesn't really matter, no does it? Uh, I don't know if this is the right farm to start at. I always pick the wrong farm to go to first, so don't be surprised. This is probably going to cost us a little bit of running back and forth. Alright, so let's see. Good day to you. I lost my necklace, and I think that gutter snipe Billy Melchior took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the Melchior vineyards east of here. Get my necklace back for me, and you'll warm an old widow's heart. See you later. What can I do for you? The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig, Princess. This so is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. So before she comes to our fields again, Princess must die. Bring me her collar as proof of the deed, and I'll give you something for your time. Safe travels. Alright. So, that's fine. We can head over this way now. We'll be back here anyway. So I think we did this in an okay order. Because now we're gonna go talk to... Billy. And then we'll get the quest to go back and talk to Tommy. Ooh, look at that, our first copper node. Let's take a look. A lot of people on tonight. Uh, we got 40 people here in Elwyn Forest between the levels of 4 and 10. Pretty impressive. I like it. All the classes are pretty well represented. Well, except for... Druid, obviously. You probably wouldn't see a lot of druids making their way over here, I guess. Although we did, so there's that. But I guess if you're a druid, you really don't want to come over here because you're not going to have access to any of your class trainers, right? Or your class quest. Ooh, that would be tough. I mean, you could do it. You could grab the flight point, obviously, in Menethil Harbor. Then just whenever you had the train, you just got to take the flight and then take the boat go train and hearth back. You lost what? Well, I didn't take no necklace because I ain't no thief. I might know who did, but I'm too hungry to remember. Maybe if I got a pie, I could tell you who has that necklace. And you know, I think that old lady Bernice from the other farm makes great pork belly pies. Maybe if you gave her some chunks of boar meat from the boars that hang around our farm and told her what it was for, she'd bake up a pie for you. Decent time to hit level 8.
All right, that's all we need. Four out of four. Let's go ahead and bring this over to Bernice. Oh, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a quest hiding back here in the house. That because of my angle of approach over here, we didn't see. Let's let's take a peek. Yes, this is the one we don't want to forget. If I forgot this, we'd have to run all the way back and then all the way back to the other farm. So let's talk to Mabel. You need something? I'm cursed. My heart belongs to Tommy Joe Stonefield, but our families are bitter enemies, so I can't see him, even though my eyes ache to gaze upon that handsome face. Please, take this letter and give it to Tommy Joe. He's usually at the river to the west of the Stonefield farm, which is due west of here. Have a good one. So yeah, we did this in the right order this time. If you, if you come into this farm first by accident, then it uh, it can necessitate some more running back and forth. And if, like me, you don't look inside of houses, then you will entirely miss quest. We need to keep a hold of our boar meat because we, we should be able to use that in cooking. Hey there. I don't think it's right feeding the boy who stole my necklace in the first place, but if that's what it takes to get back what's mine, then so be it. Though this wild boar meat is tough, simmer it enough, and it sure does make for some tasty pie. Here you go, and when you give this pie to that Billy, you tell him I hope he chokes on it. See you around. Should never wish a child harm, even if they are, like, a naughty child. You probably just shouldn't wish harm on a child. <laughs> just saying. Bernice, Bernice, an older lady ought to know that. Which one is Tommy and which one is the ore? Go, 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 go. I think this is Tommy and this is ore. <laughs> oh, someone's at our ore. Mm. We were a little bit too slow for that one. Good day to you. You have what? Mabel is the light of my dull life. Hurry, let me see her letter. Do we have the letter? Can we, uh... We can read the letter. Tommy Joe, with each passing hour, my heart withers from your absence. Oh, if only our folks could see beyond the silly crimes they have done to each other, and know that the only true crime is hate. Hate consumes. And I fear in these dim times that hate will take hold of more than just our families. If they realized this, if they realized this, then we could at long last be together. It is for that day I hope, and for that day I live. Your love, Mabel. It's pretty decent. How are you? I can't stand us being apart. I have to see her. Please, Rambles, talk with my grandma. If anyone can find a way to bring me together with Mabel, she can. Safe travels. Ooh, I really like the the mild sunset light here. It's really mellow. I dig it. We'll definitely be trying to play some more in the evenings. I like how how active it is too. It's active during the day, surprisingly so, but obviously more active in the evenings. Well met. While their families are feuding, Tommy, Joe, and Mabel don't have much of a future, but maybe we can get them together for just a little while. Just long enough, right, Grandma? You know it doesn't take too long. Hmm, what can we do? I bet William Pestle has a potion to unite our two young lovers. Here, take this note to William. He's staying at the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. Go with honor, friend. All right, now back over to Billy we go, and then we can actually get into the Cobalt Mine and, uh, you know, start fighting some Cobalts.
Oh, I'm starving. Do you have that pie for me? I do. Don't choke on it, though. Yum yum, this pie is the best. I think my memory is coming back to me. I was playing near the Fargo Deep Mine, and I think I dropped- I mean, I saw the old lady's necklace. Don't ask me how I, it got there, it wasn't me. Well anyway, I saw this big gold-toothed kobold pick up the necklace and run into the mine. Go find that kobold and you'll find the necklace, I swear. Innocent enough, at least he didn't run straight to town and try to pawn it to one of the merchants, you know. Could have been worse. Uh, we really know nothing about his motivations for stealing it in the first place, though. I guess we shouldn't really make any assumptions. Alright, so we're looking for gold dust and large candles, both of which will drop off the kobolds. We have to scout through the mine, and we need to find gold tooth while we're- So we have, we have four quests that we're going to do right here in this mine. I'm like, still in like, hardcore mindset. Which is not a bad thing, because it just means that I'm going to be careful, right? There is no reason to get killed. Getting killed will be a boring spirit run back. And it helps to kind of keep my hardcore instincts sharp if I'm not playing carelessly. Not that I ever play carelessly. Two-handed mace. Kobold mining shovel. That's perfect. Scouting is complete. I believe that gold tooth is usually down this way. Well, there's his body, so he will respawn eventually. Let's keep going this way. Maybe we can get to this copper. Got a shadow gem off of that one. Alright, I, I don't want to miss the opportunity to get gold tooth, and I'm pretty sure he respawned back here. Yep, there he is. There's the necklace, and now we just have to fight until we have all of our gold dust and large candles. We can do that inside, we can do that outside, we can do that wherever we please. Mainly we can do that wherever there are actually kobolds alive. Which right now there are not. Oh, he had some copper ore on him. How nice of him. Speaking of copper ore, I am going to make my way out to this copper vein. We might get there before somebody else gets it. That's... it's in question. It's definitely in question right now.
Okay, I will take the free respawn. That's absolutely fine with me. There's no way you're going to get that cast off, buddy. I don't know what you were thinking. Maybe they were thinking, hey, this guy might not want to fight this. Maybe we should help him out. I'm sure that's what they were thinking. They were probably just ready to help us in case we weren't prepared to take on the respawn. I like being a night elf in the Eastern Kingdoms because you don't see a lot of night elves. And it's like the color palette of the night elves, it, it stands out very nicely and distinctly from everything else, but it still blends. You know what? You know how like the Draenei really stand out, but they, they don't blend into anything? They don't even feel like they fit in the world? The night elves stand out from the Eastern Kingdoms, but they feel very much like they fit right into the world. And I like that. It's a very, really unique feeling. That being said, I, I do always kind of wish that the, that the, especially the female Night Elves, I wish they were a little bit more Amazonian, like what we kind of were showed in the, in the classic WoW cinematic and in Warcraft 3. They really, they're kind of just like human-ish. You know, they're a little bit taller. They're like slightly more muscular. Slightly. How many shovels do you think we have in our inventory, guys? One, two, three. Okay. We have three shovels. They're dropping a lot of shovels, which makes sense. They are miners. You'd think some of them will be dropping mining picks, too, but no, mainly they seem to prefer the shovel as their main implement. We will take that one off your hands since you don't seem like you want to deal with him. You're very welcome. And we just don't have room for that last shovel, and I'm not I'm not too broken up about it, although they probably sell for a little bit, don't they? I bet they sell more than an apple would sell for. So maybe that's an okay sacrifice, to drop the apple on the ground there and pick up yet another mining shovel. Okay, okay. How many shovels can we carry? I don't know, a lot probably. I should have sold the fish, at least some of the fish would have been good to sell that before I had it out. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I have anything that I can really drop? Oh, hi. Hello there. How are you? Please don't drop another shovel. We, we really are full up. They're getting quite heavy, as a matter of fact. A feeble sword. We need three more gold dust, and then we'll actually be ready to get out of here, so... It does hurt to leave things on the ground, that's true. But in this case, I think it's gonna be okay. Was it avoidable? Yes. Absolutely. Was avoidable.
You know what? There is a vendor. One of the farmers is a vendor. Is it the farm that's close to us? All right. Let's let's go check it out. There's a, there's a vendor somewhere. Maybe maybe it is right over here. I, I I'm kind of worried it was at the other farm. Let's go see. Here we go. Yeah, Joshua Mackler. McClure. I've always pronounced it Melchior. In my mind, it always puts the L before the C and it's Melchior. But it's McClure. Hey there. There's a uh, Leatrix Plus working for us, selling all of our junk. And yeah, these sell for half a silver each. I need to go back and pick them all up. Uh, we'll sell the 12 pound mud snapper. We will sell. You know, I want to keep these because I'm going to get a cooking recipe. Same thing with this. I got to put them in the bank if we can't. Uh, if we can't cook them soon, I need to keep these. I can sell this. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I need everything else. So that is going to have to do. See you around. If we get back really quick, we might be able to loot some of the bodies that we left laying there. I do see the chest. Oops. If we get, can get to the chest before anybody else, we definitely will. Now, especially now that we have uh, open inventory space. Some potions, always welcome. Let's actually get the potions out to our bar where we could actually use them if we need them. Imagine that. Imagine having them keybound. And that's it. That's 10 out of 10. Let's take Bernice her necklace. Let's... Well, yeah, we can do that. You know what, though? We're going to be back down here anyway. We're going to be coming back down here to give Mabel the invisibility potion. So maybe we just wait till then. I, I kind of want to wait on all that until we do Princess. I'd like to kind of turn all those in together, but I don't know if we'll, if we'll actually wait that long. Because Princess might not be doing Princess for a little while. Yeah, everything's done. We could have hearthed back to town. Um, we don't need to. We don't need to because we can find minerals along the way, potentially, like the one right ahead of us. And doing some additional fighting is never a bad thing, especially in the Vanilla Classic, where all that kill experience, it counts for so much. I feel like the kill experience you get while out in the world counts for more than the actual quest XP. Yeah, when you have things like herbalism, or even when you have any professions, it's really hard to justify hearthing. Hearthing. Oh, I'm sorry. However, teleporting back. <laughs> we'll call it teleporting to your bind point, since uh, I can't uh, say hearth or hearth very well. And uh, I always say the wrong one. 
But yeah, it's hard to justify doing it because, you know, there's so much to gain by staying out in the world and just trekking it on foot. Especially when you're leveling your professions as you go, which for in vanilla, I really recommend that if you're going to do professions, level them as you go. Don't try to do them at max level. Doing them at le max level is boring. <laughs> it, literally, it's boring because it, it like it adds nothing to the experience at max level. It's something you have to go back and do. Whereas doing it while you're level leveling adds to the leveling experience. You're going to get something out of it, you know? And it's going to be so much better to, to hit max level and have your professions maxed out with you. <laughs> And not be sitting there like, oh great, I have to go back to uh, Westfall and farm for tin to get my my mining up. Or, you know, blow a load of money on the auction house, which is maybe what some people do. I forgot about the auction house. I have to remind myself, it's hard because we're playing... For a long time I didn't play classic vanilla era, obviously. And uh, when we started to play vanilla era, it was all hardcore stuff, and now we're doing this awesome immersive run. And I have to remind myself that I can use the auction house. I'm going to have to remind myself that I can group up with people in the open world and that we can do dungeons repeatedly. You need something? Thanks for the dust rambles. Here's your cash and here is a token from associates of mine. You might find it useful. Decrease target's chance to hit. I Got will sell one. it for money. What can I do for you? This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near the mine. Thanks for your efforts, Rambles. And hold a moment, I might have another task for you. Thanks to you, we now know that the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode Mine. Explore Jasper Lode Mine and confirm any kobold presence. Be careful. And then, dri then he gave us driving directions. I supply only the finest goods. Okay, let's sell the shovels. <laughs> let's sell the small spider legs. The malachite we probably want to keep, right? Uh, and I think we need to Let go... We need to go do some cooking, maybe. Let's see. We can do the boar meat. I, I'm wondering where we're going to get the recipe for the fish. Maybe from Stormwind. Hello. Cobalt candles. You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thank you for the candles, Rambles, and here's your reward. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind with my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, he'll pay you well. See you later. We can do that. What can I do for you? You have a note from Grandma Stonefield? I haven't seen Mildred in years. I wonder what she has to say. My heart goes out to those two poor souls, Mabel and Tommy Joe. I remember being young and in love once. There must be something I can do to help them. Let me think. I can make an invisibility liquor for Mabel, so she can slip away from the Melkler vineyards and go to Tommy Joe. But to make the liquor, I need some crystal kelp. Although the kelp usually grows in the ocean, sometimes murlocs collect it. See if the murlocs near Crystal Lake have any. Have a good one. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the cook. Greetings. Hey there. All right, what can we do? See you later. Not very much. Let's pull this out. I'm gonna have to find a cooking guy that will tell me where I can. I know that I can get the recipe for these near Karanos, not Karanos, Fel Felsimar in Lakmadan. So I know where to get the recipe for these. We'll put them in the bank. Uh, raw, brilliant small fish. I feel like I've just gotten from fishermen. So maybe I will check. Maybe I'll check in Stormwind next time we're there. Light be with you. Uh, let's sell the meat though. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. First aid. We could probably start crafting some bandages. For the alliance. There we go. I really wish they'd make more effort to, you know, keep the flies away from the meat that they're going to cook and serve. That would make me feel a little bit better, guys. A little bit of sanitation, maybe. Uh, we did hit level 8, right? So we should check in with our trainer over outside of the smithy. Soon as we are done with these bandages. We're going to need them eventually. 
Although we haven't really needed to stop and heal yet, thanks to being a little bit ahead of level. Can I help you? We have Hamstring maims the enemy, causing 5 damage and slowing the enemy's movement by 40% for 15 seconds. Critical for dealing with runners. And Heroic Strike rank 2, so we are going from 11 damage up to 21 damage on that one. What are we getting in the next couple levels? Rend rank 2 at 10, Overpower at 12. See you around. And the Heroic Strike automatically upgrades to rank 2 because it is an ability and not a spell, so we don't have to worry about dragging out new spell ranks for abilities like that. And then Hamstring for now, we will put here. Excellent. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's go do the Crystal Kelp. There's a fisherman over here, but there's no fishing vendor, so I don't think we can buy the recipe here. There's a leather worker and a skinner hanging out in this house. And then upstairs there are some creepy kids and some creepy ambience. I'm pretty sure this is the house at least. And the kids are standing in at the corners of what would be like a pentagram, I'm pretty sure. You guys can look at it and tell me what you think, but... Oh, they're not here. Maybe this isn't the house. Do you guys know the house I'm talking about where the kids are standing and they're like arrayed in such a way that you could draw... A pentagram? I, that probably wasn't a pentagram. <laughs> Don't trace that out. Um, yeah, you guys are, you guys know what house I'm talking about, right? The, I, got, I thought it was this one. Maybe they're off doing whatever they do when they're not standing in a creepy pentagram form. The, the ambience up there was sounding pretty creepy though, right? Uh, Fishmonger has nothing for us, and then the fisherman Hello. is not a vendor, so... See you around. I will look in Stormwind at the fishing vendor there. Right outside the trade district. Alright, for now we're looking for Murlocs. I see Murloc bodies. I don't see any living Murlocs. One of you guys asked about the population here on the server, if it was mainly Horde or mainly Alliance. And the thing is with these Classic Era Realms... The Classic Era Realms are linked together, so there's cro there's cross-faction. Not faction, there's cross-server. So if you do a slash who, you can kind of see uh, who's from what server. So I know Pagel, yeah, Pagel is joined with this, so Mancrick and Pagel, and so traditionally Mancrick was mainly a Horde server and Pagel is an Alliance server, so if you combine the two, you basically have a Mega Cluster that you really don't have to worry about faction imbalance. Uh, I'll pop that potion now, because we were getting a little bit uh, sketchy there. But yeah, so I think the balance is pretty even. Obviously right now we're rocking 50 people here in Elwyn Forest, which means there's probably more than 50, it can only... Show us 50. If we do like 5, if we shrink this down, do 5 to 8, 41 people. But yeah, I don't think it matters. If you want, Whatever faction you want to play, it's going to be busy because of the cross-server connectivity. It's almost like a mega server is the way to go, where like everybody plays. We're not quite there yet, obviously, but maybe someday. Um, nah. <laughs> nah, nope, nope, nope. That's a big nope. The great thing is I don't have to really worry about getting killed here, so there's like zero stress in this maneuver, except it was really stupid of me to charge in, you know? And this will be the time when I don't die. If we had done that on hardcore, we'd probably already be dead. They would have stunlocked us, you know? I can't, I say I can't believe they'd still be chasing. 
Uh, we aggroed a wolf, which I feel like we can just take care of it. We aggroed another wolf. Let's just take care of this one, too. And we'll use our first bandage. And what I think we're going to do is, I, I think we're going to do some questing in Dunmoro as well. Not in their little starting area the way we do with Northshire, but in, in their, in, uh, in Karanos, the Goldshire equivalent area. I think that we'll go there next time. I, I really would like to get ahead of the leveling curve. Because I, I, I know that, you know, with it not being a hardcore run, we're going to go all the way. So we have to plan ahead, which means we have to plan for the leveling curve. And we have to plan for those dreadful, like, level 38 to, to 50. Basically anything above level 40 is, like, you could run out of quests to do. You could run out of at-level quests to do. So we do want to try to stay ahead of the curve. And I kind of want to see what a, what a night off looks like running around in Dunmoro, if I'm being completely honest. Because I, I think we look awesome here in Elwyn feels really cool to be here as a night elf, so probably a similar vibe will happen in Dunmoro. And we might not do everything. We might, we might be a little picky and choosy about what we do and don't do, but we'll see. I, all the questing there is pretty smooth, and I, and I do like the questing there, so... Whoa! <laughs> I love that at least when you miss that charge, it flips your character back around so that you're not putting your back to them. I've, I've always really appreciated that. It can be a little jarring the way your character flips about, but ultimately, like, it's really good. It would be terrible to have your back to the enemy for a second. Man, level 9, I, why do I feel like we're flying through the levels? Probably because I'm having a good time, because of the warriors. It's gotta be my favorite class still. It's just... You know, there are other classes that sometimes uh, get me very interested, very excited. But the warrior I always come back to is probably my just staple favorite class to play, just pure fun. Other classes come close. If we're talking about pure melee fun, rogue is really fun, enhancement shaman is a lot of fun. Uh, let's pull him back here a little bit if we can. I guess I should be like tracking the quest so that I know when I'm done with it. I'll probably be oh, I don't have any. So it's fine. It's fine. We don't have any. We got lots of murlocs coming in over here. Two of them together. Level six. I'm kind of worried they pulled that third one back there, though. Oh, yeah. You ever pull five murlocs? These murlocs must be the slowest swimming murlocs I have ever seen, because any murlocs worth their salt would have pulled us down and uh, killed us. We need to find some guys that aren't in groups of five or six. Mayhap we wander a little bit farther to the east.
Okay, so we have a couple of options over here. It'd be nice to have one item drop for like proof of concept. Okay, this is fine. Well, there we go. We we got a couple items. That's that's nice to see. Well, hello there. Okay, we we got respawns. We have respawns. Let's let's see what can we do here. Are we going to be able to survive this? We could definitely kill one. We might need to run after that. Oh, they didn't they didn't get hit by the oh, Okay. All right, maybe we get away. Maybe we kill it. Maybe we don't. Maybe the bleed and the slow, I mean, just came together for us. We're having some good luck uh, that we wouldn't have in a hardcore run, so I appreciate it. And we're done, actually, with that one. Perfect. Okay, so let's, let's go back to Goldshire. Let's turn into him... We'll take the potion back to the bar, back to the farms, and we'll take Bernice's necklace back then too. And then we can hearth back to to, to Goldshire, and uh, yeah, I think that's the way to go. It's really nice being able to play in the evening and get to enjoy the later skybox time. I want to play at night too, but it doesn't get fully dark in Azeroth until like 9:30 Eastern time. Which is probably just 9.30 server time, whatever time the server has. Which is kind of late for me, it's a little bit late. I get a little bit wackier and a little bit stupider, which... I, I don't really need either, either of those things to happen to me. <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, nothing apparently, just wanted to see if you had any recipes. Safe travels. But yeah, I do want to play at night a little bit. I guess I'd instead of starting at 7.30, maybe I start closer to 8.30. And then by 9-ish, maybe it'll be darker. And I'd like to see every zone that way. I'd like to see every zone in the daytime, in the sunset time, and at night. That would be cool if we can somehow manage that. King's honor, friend. Uh, report to gear and stout mantle. Looks like you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, warrior. If you haven't already, you should report to gear and stout mantle. He heads up the people's militia, aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. You can usually find him in the stone tower on Sentinel Hill just off the road in the middle of Westfall. Go with honor, friend. What can I do for you? There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimond Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. I believe he wants a package sent to his homeland in the north. You have a sturdy pair on you. A sturdy pair? I, he's talking about our legs, right? Either way. Calm down, buddy. So if you're interested in some legwork, it was our legs. Then speak with Grimond. We could use you down here, but we must also keep our ties strong with the dwarves. You can find Grimond Elmore at the weapon shop in the Dwarven District of Stormwind in the northeast section of town. For the Alliance. Okay, excellent. Uh, in level 9, we don't get any new abilities. We don't have to go see our trainer. Let's go talk to William. Good day to you. 
You got them, good show. Now just one moment while I concoct the potion. Safe travels. The invisibility liquor is ready for you, Rambles. How are you? Take this invisibility liquor to young Mabel. It should last long enough for her to visit Tommy Joe. Have a good one. Oh, we got we got RP beat. He had to do a little RP. We got we got click what and can quick. I do for you? Hey there. Good day Get to you. Get it before anybody else sets him into RP mode. Okay, we are good here. Let's let's peel out to the south and get these turned in and get Bernice her necklace back. Doesn't really matter what order we do these in. We have to visit both farms, so. Now, she is usually here, right? And, uh... Is she... Oh, there she is. Yeah, she did her little roleplay act for somebody, too, and disappeared. Hello. Spoiler alert. Oh, my. I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, Rambles. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. <laughs> Some healing potions. Have a good one. All right, that is done. Let's head over to the other farm and give Auntie her necklace. I'm sure she'll be grateful. Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Here, take this. It was my husband's, and he always said it was lucky. If only he didn't forget it on his last campaign. That's sad. And we don't need it, which See is even later. more sad than anything else. Okay, let's hearth back to Goldshire. We are done with the farms until we have killed Princess, which won't be for a little while. And let's head over to Stormwind. I want to go talk to the fishing people and see if maybe we can find a recipe for the fish that we have. That would be nice to get them out of the inventory. And if we can't find it right now, I'm going to store them. I'm definitely going to store these in the bank. Along with the Shadow Gem, the Malachite. Um, we could probably just smelt the ore. Maybe and then store it for a blacksmithing session, or maybe I'll work on some of the, the blacksmithing and professions off recording. That's kind of up to you guys, whether you want to see some of the professions or none of it. Obviously, I've, I've shown some of it already, but 
I don't mind working some of it in, but sometimes I do like kind of getting on in, in my off time or just whenever and doing a little bit of fishing while I listen to music or something, you know? Definitely the fishing I'll probably have to level up on my own. It's it's always a hard bargain for me to think that I wanna I wanna subject you guys to just me fishing in a recording. Maybe maybe a fishing stream would be okay. But probably not just me recording myself fishing. Ah, the lanterns do come out at night. Okay, I had wondered this when I noticed them the other day. I bet it looks cooler when it's like totally dark. We do have our little delivery here also for William. What can I do for you? Oh, a shipment from my brother. Splendid. Fortune truly shines on me today. Here is your payment, and while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. But do you actually have any trinkets? See you around. That's the question. Light be with you. We have reagents. What can I help you with? Arcane Goods Vendor. You're also just a- Oh, you have potions. Definitely taking your potions. I appreciate that. For the Alliance. We'll have to check back with him every once in a while to see if he restocks. I'm sure there's a literal timer that uh, I should know about that I don't. Oh man, I love the lighting in Stormwind. It's, it's like getting dark, but you see like the areas of sunlight where the sun can still hit the city. Very, very cool. All right, let's head over to the fisherman. See if we can actually learn a recipe here. Yeah, see fishing supplies. Need help? Oh, she does have it. Look at that. Be careful. Hey, that's awesome. Thirty-four. Yeah. See, now I need to find somewhere to post up and let this run <laughs> because that's going to be huge. Look at how easy it makes it to level your cooking when you can just fish this up. And then, like I said, this has to go in the bank. I'll put the malachite and stuff in the bank as well. That's huge, guys. Oh man, I love it. And to think I almost sold some of them. Hmm. How terrible would that have been? Light be with you. Yeah, just cut in line. What about it? Uh, yeah, let's store those. I'm kind of tempted to do some of this for now. Maybe I'll come back later. And if I don't, at least that. If I don't want to smelt them later, at least they're out of my bags. This can go. And I feel like that's good. All right, let's let's store the the rough stone as well. Do we want to just smelt these though and get the get the skill ups for mining? I think we'll do that. Light bless you. I'll get them smelted. Might not be right this minute, but I will get them smelted. And I'll get the fish cooked up as well. Uh, and yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna take a break here for today. We can see that unlike the hardcore cities, the city here on Mancrick in the non-hardcore server is really rocking we got lots of people hanging out in the evening which is is more familiar to a lot of us who've played for a long time i don't think i can cook in here so i'll just hold on to these fish and we will cook them at the kitchen back in goldshire thank you guys so much for joining me today i am having a lot of fun on this character i think it's going to be a blast it was one of those things that i wasn't sure about you know i put it on the poll 
And I had an interest in it. People had been expressing interest in it. You guys had left me comments saying, hey, I love the classic era. Would love to see a run where we don't have to delete our character. And yeah, after getting a bunch of characters killed, I realized that I'm just really just kind of in love and enamored with the vanilla era. And I like it more than probably any other era. And it feels good to be back in it in a way that we know can persist. So thank you guys for being here for it. Thank you for your feedback and your support. I truly do appreciate you guys. Till next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back here in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.